Well, the cutoff time to qualify for the Drake Relays is just two days away, so it's now or never for area athletes who want to participate at Drake next week. Clinton High School hosting the Gateway Classic with tons of area teams in action. Senior day for the River Kings, first in the long jump. Davenport West, Darnell Mosley wins it with a jump of 22 feet and three quarters of an inch. To the four by 110 meter shuttle hurdles, Clinton takes the top spot with a time of 1.05 seconds. 100 meter dash, Muscatine's Alfonso Soko wins with a time of 10.9 seconds. He's headed to Drake next week. PV's Cody Snyder snagged a school record in the shot put, and he also goes on to win the discus with a throw of 164.08 feet. In the 400 meter dash, Clinton's Quavon Jones crosses the finish line first. Four by 200 meter relay now. Davenport North's Isaiah Gibbs on the anchor as the Wildcats win it in one minute, 30 seconds. And in the 110 meter hurdles, Central's Will Reemsma wins the individual event. Pleasant Valley goes on and takes home the team title. Well, it still might be early in the high school soccer season, but the Benton North girls find themselves undefeated and sitting at the top of the max standings. The Bulldogs hosting Central this evening. First half, 1-0 Benton North free kick for Paige Wagner, and she goes up her 90, her second goal of the game, 2-0 Bulldogs. Later in the half, bouncing ball, and Allie Whitaker smacks it on the bounce and scores. Ben North takes a 3-0 advantage. Still in the first. Wagner back at it. She finds the back of the net again. That completes the hat trick before halftime. Bulldogs go on a roll. 7-0 in your final. The Lady Knights visiting North this afternoon. First half. Sully Kelly wide open, but Ariana Trowers with the huge save. Take another look. Just a freshman. North starts three of them. Later in the half, Livy Lansing on the break. No one is stopping her. Makes it one nothing Knights. Just a couple minutes later, Lansing passing it to Ellie Ivonic this time. She finds the back of the net. Two to nothing assumption. At this point, the Lady Knights go on to win. Four to one is your final. Western Big Six girls action. Moline and UT cruise to wins. The Panthers stay undefeated in conference play. A thriller in high school softball tonight. UT visiting Rock Ridge. We pick this one up in the 12th inning. Brittany LaFontaine thinks she has a go ahead homer, but Katie Garrett ain't having any of that. Robs the home run. We head to the 13th. Panthers finally score. Landon, Landon, London Jackson with the sack fly. The Panthers score three in the inning. Here's the play of the night. Bottom of the 13th. Rockets trying to pull away within a run. Alexis to freeze. What a catch to halt the rally. UT wins 6 to 3 in 13 innings. The Bulls shocked pretty much everyone when they went into Boston and stole game one in the first round of the NBA playoffs. Game two tonight from Boston. Pick things up in the second quarter. Rajon Rondo to Jimmy Butler to Dwayne Wade. The big three connecting. Wade with 22 points in the game. Later, Rondo grabbing the rebound and then the full court pass to Butler. Rondo, one rebound shy of a triple-double tonight. 11 points, nine boards, and 14 assists. Fourth quarter, Bulls pulling away. Butler from downtown, he had 22 in the game. Bulls win 111-97. to They head back to Chicago with a 2-0 series lead. Led by Christian Brito's big night, the Lumber Kings got back to winning Monday with a 5-4 victory to open up a three-game set with Wisconsin. A Tuesday matinee for game two from Ashford University Field, and everyone gets a hug. Bottom of the second. Clinton trailing by one, two on for Anthony Jimenez. Bye bye. Three run shot. That makes it three to one. Clinton, bottom of the fourth. There must be hail in the forecast because Connor Hale sends one fly into the clubhouse for a solo home run, giving the Lumber Kings a one run advantage. Timber Rattlers tie things up. Top of seven, Monte Morrison, Harrison takes advantage of the wind to double and bring home two seven five Wisconsin and that's all they needed as the Lumber Kings can't muster enough offense Wisconsin even up the series nine to five the final here and the River Bennett's have now scored 27 runs in their last two games 12 tonight in a win at Burlington White Sox looking to snap the Yankees eight game win streak top of seven one oh Sox two on for Abby Garcia see ya it's three run shot here. Sox snap the Yankee streak four to one in the final. Other scores the Cubs snap a four game skid and the Cardinals win their second straight. That's it for sports. We'll wrap things up after the break.